Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I'm going to answer a user question. Uh, the user had created a pivot table with stacked columns as you see here. However, the user wanted to add a cumulative line or grand total line, if you will, uh, at the very top across all of the uh, stacked columns and they weren't sure how to do that now one of the issues that you're going to run into when using pivot charts is the data must be in the pivot table so uh, unless you could figure out how to way to get this information into the pivot table um, it's a little difficult because you can't just add a series to the chart so um, and also uh, using the pivot table to calculate this information uh, is actually uh, a, a little bit tricky as well but let's show you how you go about doing that so um, here's our data first thing I would do is I would end up highlighting this range I would go up to my insert ribbon and I'm gonna click on table I'm gonna create a table out of this data and uh, my information has headers this is just gonna make our formulas a little easier a little bit more readable a little bit more easy to use so it's that range my table has headers and click on OK and as you can see Excel has created the table that I needed now what we want to do is we want to create a new column of data in our pivot table and we're gonna call it cumulative um, or let's call it uh, grand total and so we're gonna do a grand total and in this case this is gonna be a grand total by region and so uh, what we need to do is create a formula in here that is going to add up all of the values where it's equal to 1. And uh, so in this, in this instance, it should be 210 as our final value. So we're going to do the equal sign in our formula. We're going to do a sum if, and I'll hit tab. Now our range, since it's in a table, and I want it to use the whole range and not just this first uh, value here, I need to put two brackets. Uh, so I'm going to do bracket, bracket, region and ended in two brackets and as you can see it's now highlighted that whole column of data and I'm going to do comma and my criteria is going to be equal to the current row that I'm in so you see just the single brackets hit comma again and then my sum range is I'm going to do double brackets because we want the entire range of sales go down to sales and hit tab end it with two brackets you can see the sum range is now the entire range not just the current row I'm going to end my parentheses and hit enter. That will fill in the entire table with that range. And lo and behold, uh, region 1 has 210 as its grand total by region. And uh, we're ready to go ahead and create our pivot table. So first things first, what I want to do is I want to uh, click anywhere in the pivot table, go up to my insert ribbon, and that's where you're going to find your pivot table button. And uh, my pivot table is number five, or my table is number five, I should say. And we're going to put the pivot table in an existing worksheet uh, uh, cell. And I'm just going to click on OK, Let's shrink that up a little bit. Now, you can see here I've got my pivot table fields and my pivot table data. Uh, what I want to do is grab region and put that into the rows to grab project product and put that into the columns reason I'm putting it over here is I want to in fact uh, uh, make this a stacked column chart so we want to put that over in the columns to group it um, by in each region now sales I'm gonna drag sales and put it down into the values and I'm gonna grab grand total by region and put that down into the values now uh, in 2016 I've noticed that uh, this values um, group here you can actually switch the values and have them go by uh, uh, rows or by columns. In this case, we're going to want those by columns, so that's kind of a key piece. And we can close our pivot table field list. We have our pivot table up here. If I click anywhere within the pivot table and go to my insert ribbon, go to my charts group, go to my 2D column chart button, and uh, I'm going to select the stacked column chart. And uh, you can see our column chart, stacked column chart is right here. It's going to make that a little bit bigger, a little more readable. Now, um, what you'll see is similar almost, uh, but I've got these four extra series in here that all represent the uh, grand total by region. Now, I don't want these as part of this because remember, my total should be 210. What I want to do is I want to click on any one of these series. I want to go up to my design ribbon. And then I want to choose the button that says change chart type 2010 I think it's over on the left and you won't get this really cool pick list I think in 2010 you'll have to just click on it select the line chart for each one of those series but uh, in 2016 and 2013 I can go forward and just uh, 
uh, make this a little bit bigger. There we go. And I can just go forward and uh, select each one of the grand total ones, and we're going to make this a line chart. And so as I go about making these line charts, they're coming out of my stacked column charts. And another line chart, and finally uh, the last line chart. And let's go ahead and click on OK. Now you notice my line is now there and working perfectly. Now there are in fact four lines all hidden behind each other because they all equal the same amount. If you want to get rid of those, you can double click on each line, or I should say right click on the line, format data series, and you can change it to a no line um, if you wish, but uh, they're all behind each other, so I don't mind that. Um, I'm going to probably right click on my field lists or field buttons on the chart and do hide all field buttons. And then the last thing I need to do is in my legend, what I want to do is click on my legend, click on the sum by uh, grand total by region and hit my delete key. So legend, the legend entry, delete, legend, legend entry, delete. And now I have the chart that the user wanted. It has those four lines, which you really can't tell there's actually four lines there. Um, but that's how you can add a grand total uh, into your pivot chart. Um, first, you have to add it to your data range, which thus will get into your pivot table. And then you just uh, need to be able to figure out how to go ahead and add that into your pivot chart. So once again, this is Steve equals true. Thanks for visiting my video channel. If you like what you see, please make sure and click the like button as well as consider subscribing so that you get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you so much.